My name is Monika Weiss. I am a New York-based um, transdisciplinary artist and I was born in Warsaw, Poland, where um, the project that I'm bringing to the Frost Museum uh, was originally created. Uh, Sustenazo uh, means in ancient Greek to lament together inaudibly. Um, it's in the context of Emmanuel Levinas' philosophy of mutual responsibility uh, that my practice uh, promotes uh, a fundamentally non-indifferent vision. Um, I'm interested in employing and I am employing symbolic uh, language of a prostrate body lying down in opposition to heroic fantasies of conquest and power. Um, informed by uh, a potential of mourning as a political gesture and political act in public domain. Um, I uh, work with lament referring back to its own most ancient origins. Um, lament being possibly one of the oldest forms of music. Over the last uh, several years my work has uh, grown to uh, incorporate um, uh, politics and um, ethics of war and I uh, specifically focus on the uh, ancient traditions of the lamentation as performed by organized groups of women in response to war. To paraphrase a um, uh, wonderful um, sociologist Saskia Sassen, um, I believe that cities are uh, a potential, uh, have a potential to uh, refuse military power and um, she calls cities uh, weak regimes. Um, and to, to work with that, um, a number of my recent projects take on um, uh, the idea of a square uh, within various cities around the world. Uh, my upcoming project uh, will be taking place on Tahir Square uh, in Cairo in 2015. Um, and when I think about the squares around the world, Maidan, um, Tiananmen Square, Union Square, Zuccotti Park, um, they, these are um, for me um, visible wounds within the spaces of the city, um, within the, the, the world. Uh, in 2006 I was invited to create a project um, across from uh, Ground Zero at the World Financial Center Winter Garden uh, where um, local pedestrians and passers-by were invited to inhabit my landscape uh, which was composed of sheets of white canvas which was sewn over the um, uh, time of several days and then gradually became a large uh, morning drawing and sound landscape um, while the uh, workers were still digging for the remains just across uh, from the site uh, where the performance took place. And in 2012, my first project in the series of squares around the world um, took place um, in Gilona Gura, Gruenberg, um, a, a city uh, located between Germany and Poland, where I flew on an airplane above a former concentration camp uh, for women, now abandoned site in the center of the city, uh, forgotten historically, uh, full of debris. Um, I invited um, local women to inhabit that site in silence um, and lament silently uh, to become uh, for a moment those women who were uh, gone a long time ago. Um, and in the project on Tahir Square, hundreds of women will be performing um, silent gestures of lamentation. Um, they will cover uh, the square with white sheets of canvas, um, stitch it together and draw abstract lines around their bodies as I will be flying on an airplane and filming uh, them from a great distance. Um, that great distance provides us with uh, both a, a look into a mapping of the world and the wounds within it, but also thinking about um, the fragility of the individual suffering that always um, is set against the systems of oppression. Um, and finally, in the project here, Sustenazo, um, which is, um, was inspired by um, an evacuation of um, 1800 people overnight uh, from a hospital um, that uh, happened on the uh, first day of Warsaw Uprising in 1944. Um, 
uh, was in a sense as, as an abstract project uh, evolving around the gesture of lamentation set against or uh, in a contrast to historical absurdity. Uh, for me, expulsion of 1800 patients onto the streets of the burning Warsaw was um, quintessentially an act of absurdity, as war is usually an act of absurdity. Um, and while we cannot um, see names or we don't know exactly the specifics of the story from my film here shown um, at the Frost Museum, uh, the lament and the gesture of lamentation and the music that I uh, compose for this project is uh, meant to evoke um, a, a larger um, condition of remembering and post-memory. So I want to introduce Monika Weiss, who is here from Poland, from actually from New York, but uh, she's a Polish artist who is going to do the performance inside right now. So everybody can please go in silently. Make sure your cell phones are turned off.
Schulgedächtnis war es Wahn, der mich ergreift? War ich das alles? Bin ich's? Werde ich's künftig sein? Das Traum und Schreckbild mir Städte Das Traum und Schreckbild jener Städte verwüstenden, die Mädchen schaudern, aber du, die Älteste, du stehst gelassen, rede mir verständig Wort. Das Vergängliche ist nur ein Gleichnis, das unzulängliche Hieres Ereignis, das Unbeschreibliche, hier ist es getan, das ewig Weibliche zieht uns hinein. Ich 
nahm die alte Kraft der Frieden mit jedem Frühling lockt auf neue Flur. Vergnügt mit dem, was ihm ein Gott beschieden, zeigt ihm die Welt des eigenen Geistes Spur. Kein Hindernis vermag ihn zu ermüden. Er schreit fort, so will es die Natur. Und wie des wilden Jägers braust von ihm das Zeitengeist gewaltig freches Tuben. War es Wahn, der mich ergreift? War ich das alles? Bin ich's? Werde ich's künftig sein? Das Traum und Schreckbild jener Städte verwüstende? Die Mädchen schaudern, aber du, die Älteste, du stehst gelassen. Rede mir verständig vor. Ihr fühlt mit mir, was Einigkeit bedeutet, sie schafft aus kleinen Kreisen Welt in Welt. Wir fragen nicht im eigenen Sinne in Streiter, was dieser Schild was jedem nur gefällt. Wir ehren froh mit immer gleichen Mute das Altertum. Das Vergängliche ist nur ein Gleichnis, das Unzulängliche hier wird Ereignis. Das Unbeschreibliche hier ist es getan. Das ewig Weibliche zieht uns hin. Leg die Welt aus mit dir. Komm, lass mich euch zuschütten mit allem meinen. Eins mit dir bin ich, uns zu erbeuten. Eins mit dir bin ich, uns zu erbeuten, auch jetzt.
Thank you. <laughs> it was a very moving experience. Definitely very spiritual and different than anything I've ever done in my life. And it was an honor to work with her. She was very accomplished and very, very talented. And it was great to work with this and perform in this. For me, it's overwhelming, even from yesterday, that she gave her lecture. Um, I felt a lot of spiritual connection with her.